Hey everybody, a Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop on StarMopars.com. It's one of those weird videos. It's Thursday, November 17th, and you're going to see this Saturday morning. <laughs> and, uh, this stuff is hot off the press, and it's a situation where tomorrow night it's going to be really, really cold. And tonight it's just cold, but tomorrow night, really, really cold. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and get this uh, cranked out tonight so I can maybe edit and upload it tomorrow. And uh, you can enjoy it Saturday morning and hopefully have yourself a fantastic little weekend. Now, that said, before we get going, uh, I have a lot of stuff going on here in the shop. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with sacred geometry. Uh, as Tesla would say, the three, the six, and the nine, right? But uh, I've actually made some ground... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I hate how this stuff just always shows up and it's ready to spill. Uh, speaking of that, though, been using Ballastel a lot. I've had really good luck. I've cleaned. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I have this old like uh, Craftsman utility cart. It's when they were actually metal, and uh, sprayed the stuff. It completely freed the axle up. It was crazy. Uh, case in point, there's like some smudges here on the mat, and uh, I think we'll be able to get those up. I should have a shop rag here somewhere. There we go. Let's get that. Uh, you know what? I think it's actually on the camera lens. I think that should have it. Yeah, that's better. Right there. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. This little guy right here. Got these on one of the uh, <laughs> seasonal sales. You know, they're like thrown in every time you buy something from that seasonal. Stockpiled a ton of them. I have one regret that we didn't get more because I use the ever-living snot out of these. I'm actually running low. It's going to have to be something that we pick up. Seems like we were talking about something else, but uh, can't quite place it. Um, hmm. I don't know. It must have not been important. But hey, uh, look how well the mat cleaned up, huh? That's, that's not Mopar. Uh, but what this is, it's a ballastal mat. That's right. This is brand new. Literally brand brand new if you check out the new arrivals at KC tool This is it. It's right there at the forefront And if you think wow, that's that's the greatest thing ever or if you can't get enough of the bench mats or if it's a deal where uh, You're miffed that the Knipex one isn't available through KC tool You don't want to buy it direct or whatever reason have you or if you need another one for the toolbox or a different workbench Or you just prefer green over black Whatever it might be you can literally go out and snag yourself one of these the price point is $25 uh, in my opinion, they would make a very good candidate for like a tool of the day or like a bundle type of a thing. No clue if that'll happen or not, but uh, it's just a, kind of a cool little deal, I have to say. Obviously, if you're a fan of Ballastal, it's great. If you need a bench mat, it's a great deal. If you're, say, ordering something and you need to get across the free freight threshold, it certainly becomes an option. Uh, I was looking for my, there we go, got to get the old Stanley out. We need some dimensions on this bad boy. Uh, you're going to be looking at roughly, I'm assuming, uh, this would flatten out, right? You'd be around 17 and a half, somewhere in that range. So we'll assume it's a metric measurement, most likely. And then this direction, you're around 11 inches, which is like perfectly normal, right? People use that size all the time in America. <laughs> but uh, it's actually kind of cool because I've never really had one that has such a nice foam backing on it. Uh, honestly, when I got this and it came out of the box, what I was thinking of is it would be really good to like set a laptop on or use as like an oversized mouse pad. I've recently been having to do some stuff out here with a laptop and that's probably why it's on my mind. I'd been using a Motion Raceworks deal like you throw it over, you know, like the roof of your car basically this could certainly do the same thing and i actually like that it's way better padding on it but in terms of what we're looking at you've got a nice border you've got the green backdrop you've got the ballast logo since 1904 multi-purpose well, basically everything you see on the can right if you're unfamiliar lubricate penetrate protect and preserve uh, firearm leather knives tools locks marine wood metal rubber uh, it truly is it's kind of you can think of it as like the german wd-40 free all knock or loose you know whatever you want to call it uh, it's got a got a very distinctive odor but i'm telling you the more i've used this stuff the more i am impressed with it first saw it of course on german tool reviews 
and uh, didn't bring it in for quite a while. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to try that stuff. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, it's really these that, uh, of course, we have Lake Ballastal down here. When this thing that originally had a sprayer fell off of this workbench. I know how that happened now, by the way. I solved the mystery. It was the idiot lawn crew. Uh, all the dents, dents, I, I kid you not, dents in the sidewall of a shop. Like massive, like hit and run type of dents. And it... I have posters in here, like you've seen it in reflections and stuff, right? And I have some posters that are framed. And I was like, man, I can't believe the wind was strong enough to kind of rattle those. All makes sense now. <laughs> and, uh, that's how this fell. The sprayer cracked and we have Lake Ballastool that's still never cleaned up on the concrete. But uh, all that aside, uh, you can tell by this thing how dirty it is. Like I use the snot out of these little guys. They do have a bigger aerosol version, but uh, super, super handy. And uh, coming back over here, mix ratios, this is kind of cool. They do, I think, I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, they don't have it on the tiny one, obviously, because it's aerosol, but it's on the can. This, if you're mixing ballastal a lot, this would be worth it in and of itself. Uh, but if you're doing, say, some machining, boring, and cutting oil, 10% ballastal, 90% water, that's actually a really good blend. That's going to make this go a long, long ways. Electrical equipment, 100% ballastal, jet washer, and sonic cleaner. You're feeling feeling uh, like taking a gamble on the Harbor Freight one? <laughs> Again, 10, 1090 ballastal to water. That's going to make something like this go a long ways for you. Uh, neutralized corrosive ammo residue, again, 10 to 90. Uh, clean black powder residue, that's again, these two specific to firearms, 25, 75. And clean modern and smokeless residue, 100% ballastal. Um, like I said, you can also, a lot of people prefer the wipes. They are available in that format as well. But we're just talking about that. Why? Because of the mat. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, this sucker is brand, brand new. And uh, it's one of those things, if you're into it, Here's a nice little ticket for you. They're functional, decorative, whatever you need them to be. They can kind of do that. Uh, it's a true story. You know, uh, coming in, we've got uh, got a date coming up. And uh, what she told me when we were talking was she wanted to do something unique, something that she's never done before, something exciting and different. And uh, I don't know, if you're on this channel, you probably think similar to myself. And uh, one thing came to mind. Go ahead, uh, make your guesses. I know what you're thinking, right? Hey, this guy's got this figured out. He's got some chickies in, too. Date this weekend. What's going to go down? That's right. Toolbox tour, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jealous you are, I bet, right? Yeah, a perfect idea. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, yeah, one of those things. She gets to see it before the people on the Internet that I don't know, right? <laughs> so uh, taking, taking things to the next level there, you know. And uh, this is something, you know, comes in, you can serve the ballast all right, you know, because it's, you know, eco-friendly. Now, right here, you know, you, you probably, it's all about presentation. When you're planning an exotic evening like I am, this is a little too, I don't know, industrial. You need something a little bit more, I don't know, romantic, right? And that's why I was ecstatic when this was discovered. We're going gonna to slowly lower this down. You know what? We're going to make it more dramatic. We're gonna come in from uh, from this side at an angle, okay? Yeah, text messages right on cue. It's, it's probably the chick. She's probably like, "Hey, I'm too excited. I'm on my way now, <laughs> so I better get this video done, right?" If you're thinking like, "What in what in the world is this, man?" It's a flask of ballastol. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, this is a little. This is more like, "Hey, we've been dating for two months." This is like, first impressions are critical. And we take that very seriously here. So, uh, sadly, we don't have Yuli or anyone present that could, like, translate this for us. And I would do a terrible job. I'm very confident in myself. But uh, <laughs> this is something that I just know I would butcher. So we're just going to kind of showcase the back of it. Now, luckily here, we've got some English. Ballastil, the brand for people, animals, and all things mechanical. They forgot the subtext here. It's also to impress chicks on the first date. But... You know, it's minor oversight. 115 years ballastal universal oil. Unchanged quality since 1904 for the anniversary and the historical edition for maintaining metal, wood, leather, rubber, synthetic material, skin, animals, coat, and much more. I mean, she's got nice hair. She probably already uses ballastal, you know. 
just how the world works, man. Ideally suited for handcrafted industry, agriculture, household gardening, vehicles, fishing, hunting, and shooting sports. Contents, 100 milliliters. Now, some of you might be appalled at cracking this thing open, but that's what we do here. And uh, the true story on this thing, right? So I found it uh, on the old Instagram there, and I was like, man, that's like really cool. And uh, it was from Ballastel, the U.S. you know iteration of Ballastel. That way I don't have to like hit the translate button. And they said, hey, we still got some of these in our store. Make sure you get them before they're gone. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, I've never seen this at KC Tool. You know, I, I, they should totally sell this stuff, right? <laughs> but uh, what I naturally did is I emailed Colin. I'm like, hey, where's the Ballastel flasks, man? And uh, he said, what? And I sent him a link and he's like, that's really cool. I'm going to look into that. And here they are. They actually, they've got these and the mats now. The crazy thing, the flask, you can pick up for 15 bucks. Uh, in my opinion, you know, like it almost seems like the mat would be 15 and the flask would be 25. I honestly think more people are going to buy the flask than the mat. Although I was surprised how many of you got the Knipex ones. And maybe I just like totally... Uh, misunderstand what direction people will go but whether this is a novel that's the real reason this is like getting expedited aside from of course impressing the chick this weekend the real reason I wanted to get this video out is this is a great like stocking stuffer uh, white elephant gag gift it's also super freaking useful and if you've got anybody into tools or you know german tools in particular uh, this would be like a legit awesome gift 15 bucks you're not breaking the bank <laughs> And uh, it just looks stupid cool right here. So uh, everything is in German as well, which again kind of adds to the exotic flair to impress chicks. But uh, <laughs> what I like about it, it legitimately looks old. I'm not a wizard. I'm not like some Ballastal encyclopedia. I can't tell you what era this would have come from. Like if this is 1904, uh, if it's 1930. Looking at the box, the timeline is really all we have to go by. I'm inclined to say this is probably very, very similar to what you would have seen on a shelf in a general store uh, or whatever they would be called in Germany 120 years ago, basically. So that is super neat in my opinion. It's legit cork. You can absolutely use this. You can open it up. It's just like our industrial, you know, giant can over here. It's just got a different sleeker appearance. So <laughs> kind of cool. I mean, if you have to do something for your anniversary of your company, this is pretty awesome in my opinion and the fact that it's actually affordable you know sometimes you see companies do things celebrate milestones and they want to like share it with the customers right it's, it's priced to the point where no one can partake <laughs> so it either you know gets liquidated just given out to employees in excess quantities or it's a situation where it winds up being like liquidated way down the line this at $15 I don't think they can really go wrong uh, let's spend a little bit more time here on the timeline. So again, personally, I believe we're on the left-hand side at 1904. Note timelines also go from small to big like sockets should. Okay, I'm just going to throw that out there too. But it looks like around in the 70s, maybe 60s to 70s, they sort of graduated to the metal can. And then the packaging, you know, just the labeling basically changed a little bit. 2017, they claim it still looked like this. Again, my first... Uh, time seeing it was on German Tool Reviews and then of course Casey Tool was in this, but I'm kind of a fan of the green. I think it stands out, looks unique. Uh, what I'm really a fan of though is this thing because it's super cool. <laughs> now, inside there is this big pamphlet and it's the Ballastle story. So again, sort of tying in with the collectible nature. Uh, it looks like you're going to have the whole story here, which again, you know, I've kind of covered like the background, the brief history of the company how it was developed and everything. Uh, as much as I like to ramble on and you know probably waste your time or put you to sleep, you're welcome. <laughs> this is something I'm not gonna read to you, but I want you to know that it's there in the event that you wanna check it out again. You can see some of the multiple uses uh, right here. Guy spraying it on a lathe, probably splashing it on like a cologne before he has a big date. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just kinda, like I said, for $15? Kudos to Ballastel for doing something unique and special like this. So uh, this would kind of be a deal like if, well, heck, I'm trying to think of a company that's gotten away from it. But, you know, back in the day, like when you buy a socket set, it was always in like a metal case. 
and sort of be like, hey, it's our 100th anniversary. We're going to harken back to the glory days when we did stuff that was you know, better than a spring steel rail or something. So, uh, yeah, these legit are available. If you wanted to pick up both of them, you're looking at $40. By keeping this sideways, we're proving once more that the cork and the seal is solid and it's not leaking out. But, uh, yeah, 40 bucks will get you the pair. Uh, if you want the mat only, 25 If you want the flask, 15 And, again, both of these fantastic stocking stuffers, in my opinion. And, again, especially the flask. It's just super, super cool. I think there's really not much the camera's missing on it. <laughs> it looks old. It looks nostalgic. I mean, this could be something like you'd walk out to your granddad's place, you know, distant family member or something, go out to his barn, hit some dust off. <laughs> Boom. It's a, you know, NOS ballast type of a deal, right? Uh, in the Mopar land, you know, there's guys that collect like the oil cans and stuff. So this sort of harkens to that kind of a cool deal. Um, so yeah, very, very unique stuff. This is what I wanted to get covered for you. I also brought this out for a reason. There's something, it seemed like it was life changing, wasn't it? But uh, kind of forgot. Hmm. This is here because the current tool of the day right here is an extension from Stavilla, uh, and I'm going to get it. <laughs> and, uh, it's $19.99, it's 50% off. When you see 50% off, that's the time to strike. It's just like this, but it's 3 8 If you look at the like thumbnail sometimes, they're a little deceptive, because it'll look like this tiny little, you know, like 50, 75 millimeter extension. The thing is 240 millimeter, that's like almost 10 inches. That's a huge extension. And I currently do not have a, they call it a quick release of Stavilla, uh, but it's sort of, you could probably think of it as a locking extension. Uh, so that would be just shy of a 10 inch extension for $19.99 from Stavilla. And I have a lot of experience with this. Uh, the reason this one's awesome is because I use it for dash work and the socket doesn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the 3 8 one's going to be used for. And if you think like, man, you got a lot of those wobble fixes from Koken, right? Do you need that? Yeah, because it locks. <laughs> so plus it's on sale. Uh, these are just kind of here for the heck of it. Um, true story, though, if you're patient with Tool of the Day, you can get super good buys like that. And that, that was on Tool of the Day, too. Um, very good chance this very extension was. I know this has that one was. I've actually used the snot out of it. Uh, in the short time that I've had it. I don't know if that tool haul is actually released. So spoiler alert, a little late there. But uh, this one's been good. But again, it's not locking. And that is <laughs> that's awesome. So um, stuff like this. If you're like, man, I really want that mat. But uh, kind of want to wait for tool of the day. Or I want to, you know, I don't want to get it and pay freight type of thing. Put it on your wish list. You know, because it's not always going to be there. And the new arrival is easy to find, right? Put it on your wish list. Next time there's, say, a... Uh, Stavilla Ratchet, you know, quarter drive on sale for 70 bucks. And you're like, man, that's just shy of free freight. Boom, throw the flask, throw the mat, get your free freight, get your sticker pack, whatever you need to do. Um, big thanks to Colin for sending these out to us. And uh, it's not anything I expected. It's just like, hey, you know, are you guys going to sell that? Because it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> but, uh, since we're on that topic, what I want to hit on, uh, I truly did build up an arsenal, a ridiculous armada of these minister, miniature ballastal cans. And it was all from a seasonal. I'm going to showcase this to you because so many times in these tool halls, I record it and then like this right here, if this wasn't expedited, you wouldn't see this thing for a long time, like probably sometime 2023, right? This is pertinent to you. This is something you can do now. We got Black Friday coming up, eight days. What does that mean to you? Massive sales on tools. Uh, do I have anything I can tell you inside information? Sadly, no. <laughs> but uh, if I knew anything, I'm probably not supposed to tell you, but I truly don't know anything. Aside from there's usually just using common sense, looking at the previous sales, since I've kind of been aware, there's usually a handful of tools that are pretty big discounts, and it sometimes coincides with like a discount across the board. So my advice to you this weekend, especially if it's stupid Arctic cold air and you don't want to get outside or go to your shop and have your feet freeze like mine are right now, go ahead, put your wish list together, 
maybe it winds up on you know the specific item maybe it's a deal where you're like oh you know i get a percentage off this is the time to buy be prepared for it save yourself time spend the rest with your family or if you're trying to avoid that well you know get your flask of balsal coming and pretend like you've got problems <laughs> i don't know uh but right here fall 2022 this is all insulated so the sparkies the vde crowd people that need to expand their collection uh you've got some vera socket sets you got some Stavilla wrenches. Those would probably be the bee's knees of insulated wrenches. You got some Knipex stuff here. Again, even if you're not an electrician, it's always smart to have like a couple of basic, you know, insulated screwdrivers and at least one pair of pliers. Doesn't have to be everything, but you know, if you can get like the side cutters and traditional pliers or needle nose, you know, kind of whatever you'd prefer. Not a bad idea to do it when they're on sale. Obviously, is a great time to make it happen. Uh, here we've got the Heiko insulated drivers, and if you think, man, I wish they were Philo. If you watch a lot of my videos, it, uh, you, know, you, you might like their handle too. I'll just leave it at that. And then from Vitz, we've got the insulated minis. So precision drivers basically have all your bases covered. If you're like, I would never use an insulated wrench or socket set, you would use pliers and you would use basic screwdrivers. So keep that in mind. Similarly, if you're all set up, but you've like you know things get uh sparking you know this stuff does wear over time especially if it's you know uh beaten or you know not taken care of or just literally takes takes a couple of hits that save you uh so it might be a time you can cash in on that but that was worthwhile get to showcase that thing uh what do we want to do now uh let's see here i told you as my foot rapidly descends into a state of frostbite <laughs> like I said, if you know of, I think I said this at the start, maybe I didn't. If you know of a legit propane-based heater, okay, every year I think I'm going to buy one, and then I read reviews, and I'm like, no, not going to spend that kind of money for something that sucks. All I want is something functional, that doesn't leak, that the element doesn't go out, and most importantly, that doesn't start fires. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I'd be willing to shell out maybe up to 250, you know, and you're like, oh, you're in Texas, loser, you know, get 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 used to it. Uh, it gets cold where I'm at, okay? Like, you know, we're kind of, no one talks about us, they just fly out. It gets cold here, it gets really cold here. <laughs> and, uh, it's cold right now. We get cold and then there's like a north wind that's like 50 miles an hour, and that's why it gets really cold. Um, and so far, I've never bought one. I still use this like brown and gold space heater from the 70s. Uh, and it's like really good at keeping your like ankle line warm and uh, anything above that I'm still freezing so <laughs> yeah any uh, input there would be appreciated uh, what do we want to do now we got a little time we could kill here uh, if if you're actually someone that sits through these videos thank you and I'm gonna tell you right now I've kind of been debating I don't understand it I would much rather watch a tool haul, see somebody bring stuff in, see why they bought it, where they got it from, was it on sale, what are they going to do with it, is it replacing something, do they just not have it, are they hoping it's awesome, uh, initial bench impression, those are the type of videos that appeal to me the most, but what you find on YouTube is that what you think and what seems commonsensical to you often doesn't <laughs> resonate, right? So case in point, I might bring in the coolest, like, brand, Star Villa could make a custom ratchet for me that's blue and they're going to introduce it to the world and it's got some super crazy ridiculous tooth count that's amazing and silent and never skips and doesn't replace and doesn't break that would get fewer views than if i like do the harbor freight flyer i don't understand it i've never understood it i never will understand it <laughs> but uh there are times like i've got quite a bit of experience in multiple fields there and it's like i can cover this crud pretty well uh, again, I've got no skin in the game. I give you my honest opinion and uh, maybe save you some bucks, maybe introduce you to something that you didn't consider that could save a ton of money and have a decent tool. Is that something people want to see? Because there's a lot we could cover. And one of those things, the tie-in, the big payoff for you, the viewer, is right now. I've carefully been watching SK. And I know you're like, oh, people went to SEMA and know about this stuff. I'm not talking about that, okay? <laughs> what I'm talking about, I've carefully watched their website. It was supposed to like reopen back in like January of this year, and that ship sailed. And it kept sailing, and it like crashed into a distant landmass, okay? But it's back. The website is back. There's not a ton of stock. There are some items in stock ready to ship. Uh, obviously, we've got like the Ulcer Ratchet and stuff, but I've communicated with them. Uh, I said, hey, 
are your LP90s and your extensions still made in America. They're made here, but with global components. That probably sadly means the steel and maybe the internals. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to jump into it, but what is the most important thing? They have the SK pit crew now. Okay, the pit crew, and I'll probably make a standalone video on this, and you'll be amazed. It'll get way more views than something cool like this. I again beyond me. But the pit crew, and I this is why I emailed them. I wanted to check that, but also I wanted to make sure it was free. I didn't want like some recurring <laughs> charge for something. But basically, if you sign up for the pit crew, you get a emails when like new products are coming, special sales, that type of a thing. I believe initially you get a code for 20% off. So like if you're going to place a huge order, you know, if you're going to buy a ratchet, maybe don't use it if you're planning on like a huge order. Uh, but if you're just like, I really want to get a half inch LP90, I didn't have one. That's kind of the boat I'm in. Maybe use your 20% there, but the big deal, you get free shipping. <laughs> that's important. And it's free. Again, that's the big thing. The SK pit crew is free. So uh, I've literally got the email. I can pull it out if I have to, but the SK Tools pit crew is free. So uh, moving from that, there's a couple of other things we could go into, but uh, you know, I kind of want to kind of want to crack this thing open. You know, we might we might do that. Uh, one second here. Let me set this stuff down to the side and uh, move this out of the way here. <laughs> so, oh no! Oh no! I picked it up and also sloshed on the camera lens. Should I tell you? What is that? Jeez. I don't know what's going on here. Well, we've got the Knipex mats back out. I guess I scrubbed a little too hard or something. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this was available. We had it linked in previous videos. Uh, we were the first to bring it in as far as I know. But uh, something that we're not the first to bring in and hopefully we're not the last is this little guy right here. That's right. I was thinking, how can I tie this in before Christmas? And I figured we'd put it here. <laughs> so this is kind of a cool deal. If you're like, man, I missed out on the Vera Advent calendar. Uh, the Hazette is too pricey or it doesn't interest me or you know, I can't find it anywhere. Number one, I believe KC Tools still has some Hazette Advent calendars. If you want to jump in on that, sort of like a cordless screwdriver type of deal this year. But this is sort of a an easier go and it might appeal to more people actually a lot of times like the bit sets it can sort of be like oh man that doesn't really have what i need or i already have that uh, there's a myriad of things sometimes people just don't like the green and red combos that vera does or something this is knipex iteration in this case and uh, what it is very festive little box picture it kind of wrapped up or you know just if you're uh, super <laughs> frugal just sat right down on the fireplace right or the mantle or something and when we crack her open okay we've got the holiday gift set and i'll go ahead and try to read this through the camera to you i'm actually going to stick my head to the side the perfect gift for the knipex tool enthusiast in your life this set contains the popular 100 millimeter or four inch as we say here in america knipex cobra xs water pump pliers of course it's your part number 87 0 100 in a custom Knipex metal ornament. The tool features 11 adjustment positions, one-handed quick adjustment, and a maximum 28 millimeter or one inch jaw capacity. So, I know what you're thinking. Good Lord, are you trying to set up an engagement, man? You're gonna do a toolbox tour for the chick, you got a flask of balistol, and you've got a Christmas ornament. What a guy. How have you been single this long? <laughs> uh, you know, hey, I, I can't explain it either, but uh, what we have here, aside from an amazing gift, is literally a Knipex Christmas ornament. Now, obviously, initial use here, this thing is going to look actually, I think, acceptable on the vast majority of trees, unless you just, like, decorate with Hot Wheels and this would stand out like a sore thumb or something, uh, which that's not going to lie, that's kind of what I do. But uh, <laughs> right here, you do have the Knipex logo up top. What I like about that, uh, for the... Uh, you know, housewife or girlfriend in your life, you spin that to the backside and you just see kind of a cool generic Christmas ornament. So, but you know what says Knipex and that's what matters, right? So, right here, you crack this sucker open. You've got a very nice presentation here, sort of a luxurious <laughs> velvety, fet, velvety felt feel. 
And we've got the 8701100s. So this is actually totally functional, totally useful. It's just presented in this manner. Uh, 40 bucks is currently your retail price for these right here. Now, obviously, if you're thinking like, you know, hey, I've got the six inch or the five inch iteration, what's the big deal on these? Covered it many times before on the channel. We even have the KC Tool limited edition ones, the EDC Outlaw Itched literally has the sequential numbers but this is just a deal where this will slide in and out of your pocket easier and i've got a cool story for you and it's something that happened at work so i'm there with a the customer we're loading them up of course he makes changes at the last minute as people often do <laughs> and, uh, i'm having to take apart some stuff that i don't know how i got apart in the time frame that i did but it was pretty sweet and then he changed his mind on something else and uh it was a deal where we're like okay we'll take those off and Basically frameworks channel iron. There's a bolt coming up you know, It's five eighths by like five and a half inch or something crazy long, you know shoulder bolt long threads on it And it was a deal where we're having to square things up And I'm sort of sitting over here, you know, we got a guy on the other side He took care of his while I held it and then I get mine going and this one's through right up through the square tube and through the channel And then this bolt here. I was gonna have to like hold it and move the channel back right and the customer's there, he pulls, you know, puts his hand in his pocket, pulls it out, and I instantly recognize, I'm like, that's a pair of Cobras. You know, like, well, what in the heck, man? Cobras in the wild, not something you expect to see. And so he held it back for me, you know, and I was able to seat it down and then, you know, loaded them up and everything. And I said, hey, you know, I was surprised when you had a pair of Cobras in your pocket. And he kind of looked at me, you know, like he doesn't expect people to know what he has, you know. It's kind of like, oh, you know, what I, you know, it's an Apex Cobra. <laughs> It was a deal we got off talking on it. Apparently his sons introduced it to him. They swear by him. They've got, you know, pairs they carry around. I guess they gave him a pair. Uh, then he started telling me about some of their other pliers that he uses. And I was asking if he'd ever heard the twin grips and stuff like that. And I told him, of course, about these. Because obviously this is a guy that's basically EDC and the Cobras, right? And, uh, you know, I told him about the pliers wrench. And they had the small versions now. And then I told him they actually had the XS's. Where they'd basically removed, sadly, the push button. Uh, but also the handle so it slides in and out easier. Doesn't look like he has much trouble because because they were very, very well used. I uh, wish I would have gotten a picture from them, but I uh, thought that was kind of cool. Uh, there's one of our electrical suppliers I talked to about tools because he always finds them. Like, he'll stop everywhere and just, like, grab stuff off the highway, literally. And uh, <laughs> me and him got off talking about Knipex one time. But, yeah, this is, I believe, the first time I've seen a customer actually, like, typically customers aren't like pulling tools out of their pockets you know but in this case he did and it was literally like a five inch pair of cobras so thought that was very cool this for that type of a guy maybe you've got a dad that always walks around you know five inch cobras well maybe this is the way that you justify getting him the excess pair something that's going to be cool nice presentation the ornament this is where you kind of get like long-term payoff you could pull this insert out okay I might not be able to because my hands are cold, but rest assured you could pull it out. And if you do, you can put cash in there, you can put bits the next year, you could put like a small, you know, pliers rent. You can do all kinds of stuff, especially with the foam out because again, you'd have more area. So it's one of those things, just like the very Easter eggs, you know, you can come in and you can use this in the future, either for decoration or, you know, for surprise, a cruel thing to do. Uh, maybe some of the uh, ladies watching are like, oh, that's a perfect gift for my husband. Well, here's what you do. <laughs> you give him it this year and you have the, have the pliers in there. Don't be that cruel. But then the next year you put this on the tree and he's like, wow, or in a stocking or something. And he comes to it and he's super excited and he opens it up and it's empty. You got to build this up. You can, you can drag it out multiple years if you want to. But then the next time, it's like, ah, oh, there's no point in opening that. And you say, well, go ahead and open it. You know, you might be surprised. And he opens it and there's nothing because you're awesome and you play the best jokes. And then the third year, that's when you're like, ah, I don't want to be, you know, too big of a jerk. Or he was pretty good to me this year. You come in and you put something cool in there. So it's kind of a, it's a crapshoot. You never know what it's going to be, right? <laughs> so uh, these, unlike the advent calendars, are available. They're also, again... The cool thing, like if you're going to buy these pliers, you're almost at the $40 price point. Now, some vendors, you're actually going to exceed that, and this would be a better option for you. So again, future use, check. Fully functional EDC type person covered, check. And you've got a box that you don't even have to wrap. It's a win across the board. I think I'm actually going to take these, put them in my pocket, and have them at work tomorrow. Um, 
that's something I typically I like I just prefer like go grab the tool I need and carry it type of a thing I might try these like in the pocket for a little while so uh, sort of inspired by the customer, right? But, uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to cover everything. Why I am legitimately freezing. My left foot is just, it's like a block of ice right now. But uh, I wanted to get this video out for obvious reasons. Number one, these are still in stock. This is something, you know, like the Vera Advent calendars, they sell out and they don't have any more. This is something that's projected. They've got, I don't know how many, over 10. Uh, but then if they do sell out, there's, I think, more on the way. So uh, if, you're, if you're a risk taker, okay, uh, or you want to be super cruel before you give this you know, to someone in your life, there's usually, that's a big caveat there, I can't guarantee anything, but there's usually some that survive Christmas, and then the price might come down, it might get clearanced or liquidated. You're probably not going to save it. It's not like you're going to pick it up for 10 bucks or something crazy. But if you're thinking like, oh, 40 dollars I don't know. <laughs> if you want to roll the dice, you know, maybe mid-January, you can save a few bucks. But like I said, monitor tool of the day. And then if you want to pull the trigger and for sure have this, because you think it's a great gift option, in stock, 40 bucks, And there should be a restock before Christmas. So uh, people, a lot of people obviously, you know, haven't started holiday shopping yet. So take advantage of that while you can because you never know when stuff's going to sell out and if it will come back so uh, on that front i think that's all we're going to do here i will tell you though the I, like i said most videos are not this fresh with me right so i have a ton of stuff already recorded already uploaded just like always like we're i could die and if somebody managed the channel you wouldn't know about it until like probably october of next year <laughs> and, uh, it's a situation where like i think i'll be able to put out some really like release i should say they're already there i just have to schedule and release them uh some pretty good ones right and if you want to see like the flyer type stuff tell me you know because i can do that it's it's way easier it saves time you know um if some people honestly enjoy i've thought about like adding a third video here because there's a lot of stuff like there's a couple of videos, just like sort of commentary type things that I really need to make because I never do, because I never have time. And then whenever I get to something that we unbox or showcase, I have to cover the stuff that I wish I had in a standalone video that I could just say, watch that. Um, that type of thing. If you want to see it, let me know. The other thing, uh, just like Colin came through for us, and uh, let me, uh, how does this work again? Three strikes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Colin came through and sent this out, we might, we just might, have a Vera Advent calendar that we can give away. And I'm not sure how to handle it. You know, I don't know if I like, just give it to, I don't know, my nephew. Uh, do I give it to someone locally that I know would appreciate it? Uh, do we pick some, I, was, I wouldn't say random, you know, like somebody that we, you know, um, think might enjoy it on YouTube? Um, I actually had somebody picked out. Uh, it's a really sad story. He uh, passed away. I thought, man, this guy's going to love it. And I didn't know that uh, he had passed away. It was an Idaho fabricator. Now, if you go back to when we got the gantry train from Harbor Freight, I think I mentioned him several times. Um, he built what is still, in my opinion, I don't watch it religiously or check to see what's going on, but... When I was trying to like debate, do I build a gantry crane? Do I buy a gantry crane? What gantry crane do you buy? How would you build it? Uh, he built what is still, in my opinion, the best gantry crane on YouTube. Uh, it was adjustable. He used you know just a quarter drive hex, you know, impact adapter type thing, and it'll raise the uprights on both sides. Super, super cool. Um, super cool guy. It was kind of like you know like just like your stereotypical grandpa type, right? Seemed like he was really good at everything. Probably had all the answers in life. And uh, yeah, I followed him on Instagram too, and he got some some German tools like little Knipex stuff like this. And I thought, man, that's that's who's getting the advent calendar. The dude's gonna love it. <laughs> and uh, I knew he had been uh, diagnosed with cancer. I did not know he had passed away. I was like, man, I how do I con? What happened? I was like, how do I like how do I like get a hold of his wife? That's his like film crew. Like she filmed everything. It was really hilarious. They had a good dynamic, in my opinion. But I wanted to like be able to contact her and be like, hey, random guy in Texas here, and uh, I've got something from KC Tool. Uh, they're nice enough to send me that I want to send to your husband, but I don't want him to know about it. How can I make that happen? You know, like, give me an address where it's addressed to you or something like that. 
And uh, when I went back to his channel, uh, his sons were there, and they, you know, broke the news he had passed away, sadly. But, uh, like I said, seemed like a super... That, that was someone that would have gotten it, would have made a video on it. That was kind of important to me, because I want to, like, benefit Casey Tool if possible. And I think he would have actually loved what was in there, and I think he was someone that didn't already have what was in there, right? Uh, there's a lot of you that I would send this to, but it's a deal where, like, I'm not going to lie, like, 99% of you, like, most of you had the Vera Advent Calendar way before I did. <laughs> and so, it's kind of one of those deals. It's like, well, geez, you know, there's, like, no one left to send it to. Uh, there's maybe two or three people I can think of that I actually watch from time to time that I don't think would have it and that might not have much from Vera. Um... Give me your thoughts. Do you want a giveaway where, like, you know, one of you can win? Do you want me to randomly send it to someone else, you know, on YouTube? Do you want me to just, like, hey, dude, you know, give that to your nephew? Uh, you want me to give it to one of the old guys locally? You know, let, let me know what you would want to see. That's legitimate. That's a real deal. There's, there's two of them back here. And that spoils it. I have not made the video on the Vera Advent calendar, uh, but there are two. Uh, one for me and one to... Uh, do whatever with you know i mean if we want to like sacrifice it in hopes of you know a 3h ratchet set appearing we could do that but uh, let me know what you think would be cool there and we can make that happen there will be a couple of christmasy themed videos right uh but everything else is like pre-recorded there's just there's a lot of cool stuff in the world man like there's a lot of bad in the world but there's a lot of cool tools <laughs> that distract from that and uh, that's that's why we're here that's probably why you're watching this stuff so um yeah any any thoughts on that let me know but like i said if we got video stacked there's still a lot of stuff i haven't recorded i've recently if you follow me i need to post this on youtube but uh i've got a cool story about eagle grip and i wrote up a sort of a mini review on instagram if you follow me there uh you can you've already seen it or you can find it. i don't think they really share pictures anymore they want like 30 second videos you know and uh that's obviously not my strong suit so <laughs> uh but check that out if you haven't seen it and like i said i do need to post that to youtube but it's very sad what happened there um we still have a massive like comparison video to make it's just got thrown for a loop because Knipex sent me, you know, pliers, and it's like, if somebody sends me stuff, I can't, like, review it until I've, like, really used it. <laughs> so, uh, it's it's in the works. I'll just leave it at that. It's coming up. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much. I do have one sad thing to say. I have, I don't know why. I, I legitimately don't know. I got a 25% off coupon from Harbor Freight. Just emailed to me. It wasn't like something everyone gets it or I, like, get it to three emails, you know, or something came to me it says we miss you it's from the store manager i'm like what scam is this and i click it and it says legit 25 percent off coupon and it expired tonight and i couldn't get off work in time they closed at eight i need places to be open till nine or ten i'm not gonna lie like i just i get stuck at work and i can't make it like i have to drive and then it's like they're closed or you get there at like 758 and they hate you <laughs> You know, so uh, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to use that. I don't know if I could waltz in this weekend and there's like scans and it doesn't like come up expired or something. But uh, it's stupid cold. I, I I don't know what I did to my shoulder. I like tweaked it. Uh, current workout, you lift Monday, Wednesday, Friday, abs Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, this started hurting like last night around supper time before I had even like worked out that night. <laughs> it was like a i'm not gonna lie it was like a pretty debilitating pain for like the majority of the day uh ironically by stretching my arm on a file cabinet it seemed to like help a lot but so uh, yeah i probably need to get out of the cold needless to say but uh big thanks to colin for sending this stuff out again this stuff is awesome uh, again these are if you love the color scheme if you just need one or if you're a fan it's a pretty solid mat. Again, I've never had one that has like that good of a foam backing. The Knipex one has one and it's kind of anti-slip, but this is like a little bit thicker. Uh, but again, I use this type of stuff all the time. If you watch the Ram Revival, you've seen me with like that motion one. You know, anytime I'm doing stuff, I try to cover or just have a work area. Uh, this will fit the bill there. It actually looks pretty good in my opinion. And then this is just stupid cool. And for $15 too, like it's... 
I think David Lee Murphy had a song about this, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes Friday night, right? We'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, wish me luck there. <laughs> so uh, on that front, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Um, sadly, you know, I don't know how many of you will get to uh, impress a chick on first date with the uh, toolbox tour, but uh, hey, gotta gotta live it up while you can, right? So. <laughs> Uh, on that front, tons of cool stuff going on here. If I can get out here this weekend, I have a ton of stuff I'm hoping to do. Uh, I think it like gets back into the 40s maybe Saturday, so we should be able to tough it out. Uh, Sunday looks decent, but uh, anywho, tons of stuff in the pipeline. I think you're going to have some videos to enjoy uh, over the next couple of weeks. Let me know your thoughts again on propane heaters, uh, flyer-based video type things that people seem to love that I don't really know why. <laughs> and, uh, what you think we should do with that Vera advent calendar? So, uh, like I said, I had to, Idaho Fab. If you're, sh he was Chevy Trucks. That's the only knock I have on him. <laughs> you know, but just seemed like a super cool dude. Uh, reminds me a lot of the old guys, you know, that I hung out with when I was in high school. You know, they just you walk in their shop and it's just like a lifetime of tools, you know, and knowledge. And um, I thought that was going to be something super cool for that guy, but. Um, if you got thoughts on that thing, let me know. And like I said, if you have thoughts in general on how you want to see the advent calendar presented, I get it. Everybody showcased them. They've been unboxed. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking of like streamlining it, you know, picking up the pace a little bit. Uh, I don't know if people enjoy going day by day and hunting around for, you know, 23 and 19 over here. Or if you just want to like, here, here it is, and here's what was inside. <laughs> Feel free to give me your thoughts on that, too. We will definitely make the videos on them. Those are super cool. Uh, always fun. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I haven't opened them yet. I've just been trying to get the truck done. I've got some other stuff that comes up all the time. You know how it goes in life. But uh, right now, as soon as you see this, these are available on the site. 15 for the flask, 25 for the mat, 40 for the Knipex Christmas ornament. But... It comes with the excess Cobras, so uh, like I said, you would be paying pretty close to that price just for the pliers. Keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm icy in both feet now. <laughs> I'm going to get inside, make supper, probably go ahead and edit and upload this thing. But uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend. And most importantly, I hope I catch you back here. Automotive content, usually on Wednesdays. Tool stuff, usually on Saturdays. You know the drill. 9 a.m. Texas time. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Thoughts and comments on any of this stuff, feel free to leave it down below. And with that said, I'll catch you back here for more action from the shop. <laughs>